Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Helen and I'm doing a new video for me. So I've already done a Costco shopping haul video, um, but this time I decided to go and have a walk around Costco and try and film what I could for you, um, just so you can have a look and see what is around. Now, I am completely new to doing this kind of filming. Um, I'm not a, a videographer of any kind. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm, I'm just a person who's not great with a camera. So um, I also do have some walking issues and issues with my mobility. So I was trying to get around the best way I could um, whilst videoing um, and looking obviously to see what we wanted to pick up while we were there. So if you haven't already been to Costco, and this is Costco UK by the way, um, it's massive there is stuff everywhere we walked in and we went straight into um, sort of the area where the electronics and stuff were but right next to that was the snacks here are tins of tomatoes and um, items like that and it's kind of funny how everything is um, laid out in there so as you can see we're sort of like going into the toiletry sort of section um, some of the stuff in Costco is absolutely fantastic value. Um, you can get, obviously it's bulk buying, isn't it? You're buying bigger um, amounts than you would usually. And some of it is just such good prices. Some of the things I felt were maybe a bit more expensive to buy them like that. Or, you know, it's just a case of I have nowhere to store these things, even though I would have liked to have bought them. So, um like I said this trip to Costco was actually more just to pick up a couple of things um, but to also to show you around and show you what's there um, I found that because Costco is literally just down the road for us um, it's a 10 to 15 minute drive it's really not very far so I don't mind going back more regularly to pick up things here and there rather than going say once every three or six months and doing a huge haul which costs a a lot of money but b um you need all the space to store it so i mean this tea jar for instance that was 4.99 that was actually a really good price um these were packs of three on the palmer's creams which actually my daughter did pick up there were so many good things that i would would like to get um but I didn't. <laughs> I mean, you can find just about everything in there. I found their layout a little bit hard to deal with because, you know, one minute you're in electronics, the next you're in the um, toiletry section, but then you're back to, oh, that was all the Easter eggs. So I had some really big Easter eggs in there and some different um, cereal bars and things like that so I'd looked at those Jimmy ones before I think and I'm pretty sure they had nuts in so we didn't pick them up um I did pick up some of this mango because that was on offer that had two pounds off of the dried mango um so that was quite a good price the bag's really big but they had some other things like it as well obviously they got like the coconut wafer thins I've not seen those before coconut rolls um, oh, there's so many nuts and um, snacks like that in there. These were weird. Organic clouds. I just thought they sounded lovely. Um, there was loads of different snacks. You've got truffle chips. Um, obviously, you've got big tubs of pretzels and those... Um, oh, I've forgotten what they're called now. I can't see. What are they? Not pita chips, but they're something like that. Um my daughter picked those up because that's the sort of thing that she loves and I thought these were interested as well oh interesting I should say popped uh, veggie chips so all a little bit different they've got a lot of keto stuff in there if that's your thing um, sorry I was trying to avoid people as well so where you see me putting down their trolley there was just too many people around there you go, there's some of the keto stuff there. Um, I was really impressed with their range of snacks, to be honest. What I would have liked to have found was um, freeze-dried fruit was what I was looking for, and they didn't have any. 
See, there you go. Next thing you know, you're with barbecues and outdoor furniture. <laughs> it's all just all thrown in together. It's quite weird. Um, and I'm really sorry I couldn't sort of show you everything and all the prices on everything because I just it's really hard like I'm not used to filming like that I'm afraid um, I felt a little bit out of place obviously with um, sort of being in a shop it was busy it was full of people and there's me sticking a camera up everywhere <laughs> all those looked really good the chocolate crispy honeycomb that looked really nice um, I'd bought those Welch's snacks the last time we went and the kids love them. They said they're the best things ever. Um, so I was really pleased with those, but we didn't need any more yet. Then we went straight onto the vitamin aisle. There was tons and tons of vitamins there um, and different health related things. A few medicines. Um, then back onto snacks again. So we tried to sort of um, walk up and down the aisles as much as we could. Those were a really good price. There was no VAT on those Ritz crackers, which I did pick up. So the difference, I think, between um, the US and UK Costco is we do have to pay um, tax on it, on most items, not all. Um, I'm not sure if you do in the US. So we have usually two prices, a before tax price, the after tax price. Um, those Jaffa Cakes were on a really good offer. My daughter picked up a tub of those. And so there was quite a lot in there. I thought the Oreos were quite a good deal as well. But I just didn't have space for all this stuff. But I'm definitely going to go back, I think, just little and often. Just get a few bits here and there. Like I said, it's only down the road for us, so we're very, very lucky. Then we went down the aisle with all the towels and everything there. Towels, bedding. Oh, they, those were so cute. Yeah, see that you've got um, tea towels and all that sort of stuff and then drying mats for your dish drying ones which are really cool but I've already got one of those and then standing mats as well for the kitchen all that sort of stuff which was quite good and that's like a little view out to the other side of the Costco and then they've got clothing section in there um, we felt like there was a lot of men's clothing and not a lot of women's clothing but maybe we didn't look enough then we were on to all the condiments and things like that. There was a lot there. That was like the massive bags of rice. Again, I'm noticing just how bad I am at actually showing the prices. So I do apologise for that. Um, it was really hard to get the camera angles right because I was either too close or too far away. Then there was people in my way. Um, trying not to get people in the shot, including my own daughter. Um, so I've done my best I'm really sorry but I think as long as you can see some of the items that was pasta I think oh, was that three bags I think it was a packet of three and then you had all the noodles and stuff as well like big boxes of noodles and pot noodles the other thing they had at the end of the aisles were things like cling film, foil, um, sandwich bags, all that kind of thing. And I didn't think they were very cheap, um, but I suppose you'd get quite a lot of them, so maybe it would work out. But I think I actually need to um, sort of like tally up the prices from some other places as well and work out if it's cheaper or not. This was the spice and herb section, it's massive there is just so many different ones to choose from and I really like these some of them are so cheap but they're all different prices funnily enough so you had all the Swartz ones uh, which is obviously a big name in the UK and then you had the Kirkland ones as well which I was really surprised at and I was really pleased to see what I was a bit disappointed in is they didn't have the Kinder or the Kinders whichever one it is that I've seen on so many US um, grocery hauls that I would love to try the Kinder um, seasonings they don't have them in this one 
so um, and then we went on to the freezer section their freezer um, selection is very good um, but again it's big bags of stuff we don't always necessarily need it you know there's four of us at home um, you know with my eldest still eating with us sometimes uh, you know sometimes we have extra people for dinner but I still don't feel like we need to bulk buy um, most foods to be honest it's just not really necessary for us I think if you've got a really large family then it's worth it obviously so here I felt like I was a bit too close I couldn't see everything that was in the uh, freezers but then if you're too far away you can't see where anything is so and that was another end of an aisle just all the different things in there um, what we didn't get to on this shop was um, things like toilet rolls, kitchen rolls, we did all that last time and all the drinks and stuff. I didn't find them particularly cheap. Um, so I just sort of left those out this time because we couldn't get around the entire shop. But there was lots and lots of nice things. Things that I would definitely go back for another time. You know, I don't want to buy everything all in one go and spend an awful lot of money and have nowhere to put anything as well. So that was all the butters, um, there was a lot of frozen fish in this aisle, big packets of fish, that. lots of different um, dairy items there, probiotic drinks etc. Uh, big tubs of yogurt as well and I find we just don't go through big tubs of yogurt we're better off with individual portioned yogurt so that obviously it lasts longer because we just wouldn't go through it quick enough before it went off that was just me showing what was in our trolley like I said, we really didn't buy much, to be honest. That was mine and my daughter's shop. Oh, I had a look at these egg bites. I was quite tempted, but they had a very short date on them. It was just under a week, and only two of my kids can actually eat those. Um, and I just, and one of them's not even here at the moment. She's on holiday, so I just thought it's just not going to get eaten. So there was no point because that's what I have noticed with a lot of the Costco fresh stuff. Um, is the dates on it is it's not that long and it's a little bit worrying and surprising particularly because obviously they are larger portions this was the cold um, produce aisle <laughs> sorry my dog's getting right in my face come here and um, these were quite big bags I wouldn't buy big bags of salad like that because again it would go off before we get to use it um, I would buy a small bag of salad and then if we need more in the week I'd go back to a shop to get some it's just the way I do it I can't bear eating salad that's a bit limp or just a bit ugh, no it's not for me so but they had a good um, selection of fruit in there they had things like light cheese and all sorts of things like that and I'm just showing you a little bit of the produce but again it's just too much for us to have um, that was some of the cheeses that they had. I found their cheese to be quite expensive, um, their cooked meats to be quite expensive. My daughter wanted some hummus but they only had a giant tub and it would have been really nice if they had the small individual tubs like they did with the guacamole um, but we couldn't find that which was a shame. I had a look at some of the different sausage um, and some of the meats. I did pick up some chorizo and then I went looking at the raw meat section they have got a humongous selection of raw meats um, I was really quite impressed with how much they had I was having a look at these burgers um, I had to put them back down because they had an ingredient in that I can't have so that was a bit of a shame but it was nice to see the Wagyu burgers there I actually didn't need a lot of meat. I've got some meat in my freezer. Um, 
I was just having a look at what they had and then I came across these beef rib joints. So I bought one of these for Christmas in a butcher and the total price for it was £113. And this one, I can't quite see, but it's about 40 something. I couldn't believe it. I just could not believe how much I'd been charged in the butchers and how much it was in there. I just, I mean, I actually paid 90, 95 pounds for the, the beef. I didn't pay 113, I got a discount. But um, <laughs> this is what I mean, there's canoes right next to the raw meat. It is such a weird layout. <laughs> Um, so I was having a look one of the main things I went for was chicken breast so I've got frozen chicken breasts in my freezer but I needed fresh ones to make freezer meals with so that's what I bought and then there was loads of the fresh fish there as well there was so much fish absolute tons and tons of fish in the place which is great if you like fish we don't <laughs> and there was duck and everything there um, I didn't go into the bakery section properly, um, I have a very severe nut allergy and their tubs aren't completely sealed tight, they're not airtight, so I didn't want to get too close, um, but I've been told the bakery section is lovely. Then uh, we just went on to the, the kitchen area there as we walked off to the till, so there was some nice bits in there, but there wasn't as much as I would have liked to have seen choice wise. Um, but there were some nice bits, a nice selection of, you know, like KitchenAid and Joseph and some of the other brands that you know and you love, they were there. So um, I want to have a look at those KitchenAid pans at some point, but I'm not really in the market for new pans right now. Oh, I really like these colanders, that blue colander, it was a set of three and I really, really liked that and I actually do need a new colander, so I might invest in those at some point. But by this point, we were both in a lot of pain and we were very tired and we were ready to leave. And that's just a view of, cause they've got like fridges and all sorts of appliances in there. They had a really nice instant pot down this aisle. There it is. Look at that. I absolutely love it. But I don't need one of those either. And then they had suitcases and I thought they were cute. So what we actually bought was not a lot. So I did pick up that rotisserie chicken. And um, we were going to have that for dinner. So that's just us just plunking our stuff on the conveyor belt. So obviously some of those bits you'll see were my daughters and are not in my haul, which I'm going to show you after this. I'm sorry you got the noise of my air fryer in the background, I hope you can hear me. I'm back from my Costco um, haul and obviously I didn't buy a lot of stuff. So I just want to quickly show you what I've got and I want to get it put away and we're about to eat. So I picked up this big packet of chicken, it's got eight massive chicken breasts in it and it was £14.08. Um, Kids absolutely love dried mango. I do make it myself sometimes. I do have a dehydrator. But this bag was massive and it was on offer and it was seven pounds something. I will put the prices on the screen for you. Um, I got a rotisserie chicken so that we could just have something quick and easy for dinner tonight. Um, so we'll have that in a minute. I've got some chips going, that's why the fry is on. Um, I picked up some of these Trezo barbecue um, things these last until May and I just thought they'd be quite good they weren't a bad price and um, these ones don't have milk in and a lot do uh, which is why I was struggling to find chorizo then I picked up these Ritz crackers that is six boxes and they were on a really really good price which is why I picked them up because the kids do love those and then last but not least I picked up another big one of these um, tubs so my daughter bought one last time for her, um, for my mum and then my sister decided she wanted one, my sister and her partner, so they asked if we would pick one up for them as well, so we got that. So that is all I bought and I know it's not a lot, um, but we just went back, well I went back for the chicken, um, 
I wanted to just have a look around at things that we might have missed last time because trying to get around the whole of Costco uh, is quite hard um, when you have mobility issues. It is very large and it's not easy to, to look at everything. Um, and I wanted to get some dried fruit. What I really wanted to find was actually freeze dried fruit and they didn't appear to have any, which I was a little bit disappointed about because I'd really like to try some. Um, but I know I can get that on Amazon. So anyway, I'm not sure how well you can hear me, so I'm going to stop talking now. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video and um, having a look around Costco with me. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!